Hey friends, we are back with another hair tutorial with the lovely Boo. I'm showing y'all my three go-to looks that are so easy, doesn't require any braiding for my moms who aren't too good at braiding. And these are like perfect for back to school as well. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieve these looks on Boo's fine curly hair. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you are new to our channel, please do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and come and join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning mamas, friends, and besties, hey sis, I hope you are doing good and being safe and blessed as always. So on this first style, this one is a go-to, like literally I probably do this style on Boo at least three times out of the month. It is so simple, so easy. All I'm doing is pretty much decorating the top half of her hair and we're gonna pull her, the rest of her hair up into a ponytail. I like to do this style when I don't really want her hair to be down and causing all these unnecessary tangles. And I love to use these elastic, colorful rubber bands to kind of add, you know, colors, accents, whatnot to her hair for decorative, you know, because her hair's so thin, I can't do a whole lot of extravagant looks on her. So the rubber bands really come in handy to give her that extra extra, you know, pop to her hairstyles. So I will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys to purchase these colorful rubber bands. And these are the elastic rubber bands. These aren't like your regular rubber bands. So I don't experience a bunch of snagging and pulling on Boo's hair unnecessarily because her hair is already thin. We don't want to cause any extra break breakage for no reason. Now, disclaimer, these elastic rubber bands are not curly girl, thick girl hair friendly at all at all if i tried using these on kalia's hair i've tried using these on Lonnie's hair both of my older daughters have very thick hair absolutely a waste of time they pop within a matter of hours but on boo they work they they really work so i definitely suggest these for your thin curly girl in her hair they're like the perfect accessory so on to the second hairstyle i'm pretty much doing the same thing that i did with the first hairstyle but i'm kind of creating like a pulled back rather than just having it centered the rubber band centered in between the square we're going to kind of do it pulled back where it looks like she has like twists or something going on a little variation of that and I do several of these small parts around the top half of her hair. And then we are going to leave the back loose and free and curly. This one I love to do if I'm trying to dress up her hair. She's wearing something cute and dressy. This gives like that elegant curls. Let those fly. It's super, super cute. So as I am doing Boo's hair, of course, I have to give y'all a story time on my lovely Callista. So recently I had my mom, the girls attend daycare. So I had my mom helped me out one evening I was running late behind work or whatever it may have been that I wasn't gonna be able to pick them up on time so I had to ask my mother to go pick them up I'm like hey you know I'm running late do you mind picking up the girls now my mom isn't exactly the proactive grandmother like she's very hands-off um, she probably sees the girls really maybe on the holidays they don't see her as much as the other grandparents so um granted my oldest kids know who they know who she is but i mean she's just not around that often so when she goes to pick up calissa calissa's class is right in the front so as soon as you walk into the daycare all the kids and everyone can see who's walking into the daycare she's right in front so my mom walks in like hey i'm here to pick up the pom pons you know i'm picking up all three of the girls so the daycare teacher doesn't recognize my mother because she doesn't frequently pick them up um and usually they call me and sometimes i send them a message and let them know but that day i just happened to forget so she turns to calista and she's like hey calista this lady says she's here to pick you up can you you know let me know that you know you know this lady before I just hand her over. I wanna make sure she's not a stranger to you. She says she's your grandmother, you know, you should recognize your grandmother. So Calista comes running to the door like, oh, okay, sure. So, you know, she goes over and she looks at, you know, my mom and the lady's like, well, do you know her? And Calista like straight face and all was just like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know who that is. I, <laughs> if I'm, I'm sorry to this woman, um, if I was to see this woman on the streets, I would not know who she was. My child, legit Kiki Palmer, my mom, like just walked off and was just like, yep, yeah, mm -mm, don't know her. I'ma just sit back here and chill and play with my toys. So <laughs> my mom was so upset. She was just like, I can't believe my grandchild just said she don't know me. So luckily the older two were in the back of the building. So she was just like, well, you know, um, let me call Kalia and, and see if she knows who you are since Kalista claims that she don't know who you are, ma'am. I don't see how you a grandparent and your grandchild don't know who you are. So, of course, you know, the daycare teacher kind of side eye my mom because she thinks she's trying to kidnap my kids. So, Kalia luckily comes up there and, you know, informs the daycare, like, yes, this is my mother's mom. She is our grandmother. She is here to pick us up. So, she was able to get, you know, let her go. But... My mom was just so upset with me. She just couldn't understand why my daughter would just straight up say she didn't know her. And I was just like, well, mom, I mean, if we be honest, she doesn't really know who you are. Like, I mean, that's not a my, my daughter's fault. That's a you as a grandparent's fault that my child don't know who you are. Because, I mean, you know, all her other grandparents, I don't stop you from coming over to see your grandkids. I'm, never been that type of woman so um it just tickled her tickled me pink i thought it was just hilarious i felt like it was like a much needed like eye opener you obviously need to hang out with your kids more your grandkids more often because your grandchild don't even know who you are versus my mom she was just like i just can't believe your daughter would do something like that i'm trying to pick her up that's the last time i ever go down there she embarrassed me and i was just like okay mom i'm sorry i know not to ask you to go pick up my kids from daycare anymore at least not pick up boo because <laughs> to boo she is a complete stranger i don't know who this woman is um she says she who uh, okay i'm gonna be over here playing with the legos like completely dismiss my mom y'all it was so embarrassing for my mother so embarrassing but um anyways uh we're gonna go ahead and conclude this hairstyle so this one was a birthday hairstyle i kind of want to like be a little fun with it so i took the row instead of doing the row in front of her head i did it going down the middle and kind of divide into uh, these pigtails um, I don't know if this is cute or not. Uh, when I first did it, I was just like, God, this looks awful. But a lot of people were saying her hair was cute. So I'm assuming it looked good. They might've just been nice because they realized I tried. I, I, I don't know. I, this was my first time attempting this kind of style. But we're gonna throw it in this tutorial either way because I mean, the colors on these rubber bands are just absolutely gorgeous. Well, anyways, gang, thank you so much for joining us on a, another kid-friendly hair tutorial back to school edition because my girls are getting ready to go back to school and we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe as always